So, hi guys, it's Angela gonna sound again for my another tutorial about this um, Netflix effect, I think, because it is same as what the Netflix has in their logo, which is shadowy top layer of an N, which is the slanted line, but it is cool, and I'm gonna teach you how to do it right now, so I thought to let you again, so let's get started. So have your side's background to be in a dark color only, like this 5% lighter black or a black one. You can choose any color though, but make sure it's darker than of the text color. Next is to add your text. You can work with a single word, a sentence, or a letter. Now you must consider each letter as a bunch of layered lines. And I'm gonna teach you how to see that. But first, let's form it this silly. Select a color that goes with a dark background, as always. Choose a font that is too bold or black in its weight, as we must work with white spaces and such small pixels for accuracy. Make its size larger than this slide, but not too much, just enough to see each corners of the letter. Now for the letters. You must consider the stroke of the letter meaning you must know how each letter is written. For example, letter V. This letter only consists two lines. You must know which line is on the top, either this one or this one. Then the upper line layer must cast shadows, right? And how how will we? So first, add a rectangle in just enough size. Remove its outline, then right click the shape, then form a shape. Now on this window, click fill, then select Graded Fill. If you encounter three stops on the slider, delete the middle one, then select the first top. Then choose the color that is the same as the background. So the purpose of the background is to go along with the shadow. Now select the second, then fill it also with the background color, but make it 100% transparent. At the first stop, I will go back again to the first stop, make it a little opaque for a subtle effect of the shadow. Change should be about 75% or 65% transparent. Experiment for yourself. You can keep a experiment for yourself, but you can keep a lower contrast by minimizing the transparency or maximizing it. Okay. Next is to rotate the shape to be the same as in the top layer of your text, then position it to the inside of that. You can use some various shortcuts. Press Alt and drag the shape to move it by pixels or press Ctrl and the arrow keys to nudge it by pixels. Now fill the corner with a shadow to prevent birds and to get the full effect. As you can see now, this letter V has a sort of a netflix -y logo type of shadow. There are some things to consider in this text effect. If you find that next letter has no overlapping parts, like this, I just skip it. If you are working with a new letter, just simply duplicate the shadow, rotate it to the top layer's angle, top layer's angle, and position. Make it pixels touch to prevent birds and crumbs. Next, if you found a letter with the same angle as with the previous letters, just mm, duplicate it. Duplicate sh the shadows in the same letter and position it accordingly.
so you see the letter W isn't working with the shadow so we'll need to edit its points and gonna drag it a bit to go compensate with its shine. Let's sh shine it. So we're gonna just position all the shadows here Next, if you found the rotating the shadow doesn't work, use the edit points function to fix it accordingly. Okay. Now, if you finish processing all the words and the word, or the word actually, you can select all the elements, copy it, and paste it as a PNG formatted graphic. Resize it to your preferable size, and there you go. The Netflix effect you have just worked on. It is all beautiful, right? So you can use it all, all purposely. You can use it as a background of your Facebook cover, your YouTube channel art, as you can see in my channel art. And you can use it as your, of course, that's a background of your PC. So that's it, guys. It is so simple, right? So thank you for watching. Make sure you can... Can you? So thank you for watching guys again, this is Angel Gunasale and stay tuned for more tutorials and I'll see you in the next one.